I created a Skillshare class recently and I wanted to incorporate some of the teachings from that class into a project I was thinking about doing. And that was a kind of coat hook that folds away when you're not using it. Uh, so I started off with a just a normal piece of pine and cut two equal pieces from it. Then I just took my combination square and divided that piece into three equal parts. It doesn't need to be three equal parts, it could just be three parts, it doesn't really matter to be quite honest. The middle part will serve as the hook and the two outer pieces will serve as places for a dowel to be held in place. I'm just planing down the stock there so it's nice and square. You could do that with sandpaper on a board as well if you wanted. Now I'm just finding the centre point of the three pieces. The middle piece I put two centre points on because it has a hole drilled all the way through, whereas the two end pieces will only have a hole drilled about maybe a centimetre or a centimetre and a half deep. You could go all the way to the outside if you wanted. But I kind of wanted to have the dowel concealed inside, so you don't really know it's there once you've got it all together. Now I'm cutting some wood off to make the dowel with. You can see the Japanese we oversaw just goes through it like nothing. I'm just shaving it down a bit. This dowel is going to be one centimetre in diameter. So that's what I've got my dowel plate for, to shave it down a bit and then bash it through the dowel plate and you get a perfectly round dowel. Now I'm just hitting it through the centre piece. I'm trying to have it come out with equal lengths on either side. And this part I'm just cutting a gap for the hook to the bottom of the hook to bend back into when the hook is opened up. Uh, you could do this a lot neater than this if you wanted to. <laughs> but to be honest, it's not really going to be seen that much. So I wouldn't say it has to be incredibly neat. It depends on how you want to go about it. Now I'm gluing down the two sides. And what I'm doing here is to have the hook bending out a little bit so first of all I know I've got it in the right place where the gap is I know that it's fitting into that gap that it's got to, it's got to fold out into and also I, I left it up so that it didn't take on any of the glue that the other two pieces had. Once it was all dried up I planed it down flat then I planed the sides down flat as well once again not necessary but you know it depends on the design you're going for this particular one here is more of a block and I'll show you a kind of stone design I did later in the video as well. So this is where the letter carving comes in and the letters I've picked here are all straight edges so there's no curves so because of that you can do that with just normal bench chisels I'm just using three normal bench chisels and this is an example of what I've got on my class. I teach you how to make a welcome sign on my Skillshare class uh, using just the bench chisels that you might already have or some that you can buy really cheap. And uh, if you would like to take part in that class, you can check it out in the description below. So now back with the video. After I carved the letters out, I thought I would paint them in a little bit just to make them stand out a bit. I didn't have to do it, but I kind of felt like doing it just to give it a test. Then I just finished it off with some varnish. You could use anything you like, I just thought varnish would be good since it's hard wearing, you know, you'd probably be putting your hands on it a lot, messing around with it a lot, varnish is probably a fairly good choice. Now I'm just drilling holes through this part so that it can be attached to a wall. The thing I like about this design is when the hook is folded up, the screws are completely uh, hidden so you're not going to see them uh, and then it just looks like just a kind of thing against the wall you could be a bit more arty and make one like the block there 
so that when that's shut up against the wall it just almost looks like a piece of art. I mean you could even make a really large piece of art that just has a couple of hooks coming out of it in random places. And there's lots of different things you can do with it really. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, hopefully I'll catch you again next time.